iPhone security has been in the news a lot over the past few weeks. So it's understandable if you're worrying about your own iPhone. But don't fear, today I am going to show you five tips to make your iPhone more secure. Let's get started. Firstly, you should already have a passcode on your iPhone, but the standard four digit passcode isn't the best. By using four digits, there are 10,000 possible combinations that a hacker would need to go through to get into your precious iPhone. Change that to a six digit passcode though, then there's over 1 million different combinations. To do this, open up the settings app and navigate to touch ID and passcode. Change passcode, passcode options, and choose six digit numeric code. Enter your new slightly longer passcode and save. Thanks to Touch ID, choosing a six digit code shouldn't make it that much of an inconvenience to yourself, as you shouldn't need to enter this very often. On a side note, try not to use simple combinations that a hacker could find out online, such as birthdays. For your convenience, notifications and some other features are easily accessed from the lock screen of your iPhone. As great as this is for yourself, it also makes the hacker's life much easier. To change this, let's go to settings, touch ID and passcode, and underneath the require passcode option, which also should be set to immediately, adjust the allow access when locked settings to meet your needs. The less options you have selected, the better. Turning off the wallet then requires the passcode to be entered before using Apple Pay. Reply with iMessage will stop anyone replying to a text without unlocking, and today and notifications will prevent any notifications from popping up whilst the phone is locked. Control Center is super handy to have quick access to apps such as the calculator or the torch, but it will also allow any thieves or hackers to turn on airplane mode without the need to be unlocked, blocking the phone signal and internet connection which in turn will stop you from tracking your phone. Within settings, scroll down to control center and turn off access on lock screen. Speaking of tracking your phone, make sure you have Find My iPhone turned on. With this, you can track your iPhone down using another iOS device or web browser and hopefully helping the authorities retrieve your iPhone and catch the thieves in the app. Also, if your phone has been stolen and you're using the Find My iPhone app to track your phone, don't go after it yourself. There's tons of stories out there that show why this isn't a good idea. Last but not least, there's the option to erase all data following 10 incorrect passcode entries. This is a great way to ensure thieves can't access the data on your iPhone after trying to guess your passcode too many times. But you should be careful about activating this if you have young kids. Kids have a tendency to tap all of the numbers they can when they get hold of your iPhone. So you could end up with having all of your data wiped by the little ones by accident. If there are no youngsters around, go ahead and switch this option on. Well, there's my five tips to keep your iPhone more secure. But have you got some tricks that I don't know about? Help me out and let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Math. I'll see you next time.